In this video we're going to show you how to assemble and disassemble the LSP500 laboratory scale ultrasonic processor configured in the batch mode. In the first part of this video we're going to show you how to disassemble the system. To begin the disassembly, make sure the ultrasonic processor is turned off. Next, detach the ultrasonic cable from the transducer. Raise the ultrasonic stack higher on the support stand in order to remove the beaker. Remove the ultrasonic stack from the support stand. Next, we are going to remove the support arm by using an adjustable wrench. To continue, we are going to detach the horn from the transducer by using the provided spanner wrenches. Make sure you insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass and hold it against the workbench to prevent counterclockwise movement. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole in the horn's input end and set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Tap the second spanner wrench with a rubber mallet to create a counterclockwise torque while holding the ultrasonic stack in place with your hand. When the barbell horn turns in respect to the transducer, remove the wrenches and continue by hand. The LSP500 ultrasonic system is now disassembled. Now we're going to begin the assembly procedure of the LSP500 ultrasonic processor configured in the batch mode. Take the barbell horn and place the Mylar acoustic washer over the connecting stud. Thread the horn all the way into the transducer's front mass by hand. Next, we're going to tighten the components together by using the spanner wrenches. Take the first spanner wrench and insert the pin into a hole in the transducer's front mass and set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole in the horn's input end and set it up to provide clockwise torque. Firmly press down with your palms on the wrenches using the weight of your body. To continue, thread the support arm into the transducer and adjust the counter nut by turning it clockwise by hand. Tighten using an adjustable wrench. Next, secure the support arm in the clamp holder on a support stand. Place the batch container onto a non-slip surface, such as a rubber mat. Adjust the height of the clamp holder to achieve the desired horn immersion depth. Next, plug the generator's power cable into a power outlet and then connect the generator to the transducer with the ultrasound cable. We recommend that you use adequate ear protection when operating the system. Next, turn the generator on and then activate the ultrasonic output by pressing the Start Stop button.
When finished, press the Start Stop button again to deactivate the ultrasonic output.